Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Gen AI Vlog. So previous episodes, we talked about how to navigate Anthropic Cloud API solutions, right? How to do research, how to build cool products, right? AI enhanced products, how to take advantage of the most latest large language models out there, such as Cloud Opus 4. We also talked about the model context protocol, or also known as MCP. So MCP on a high level can be explained using this kind of diagram, right? Uh, it is a framework to allow you to communicate between your client side and your server side, specifically when you have multiple different servers, right? Client side, it's an IDE, it's a desktop application. It's a web application, things like that. The server side, it's essentially an API that uh, tag into local data source, or it's exposed via some sort of remote service and via some sort of web API, things like that. So uh, we're talking about a framework that allow your client server architecture to communicate smoothly, right? In this episode, we're going to be diving into yet another server example. Okay, so the example we're going to be talking about is SEC filing. We want to put the SEC database at the tip of your finger. So first things first, there's a different pricing model. For the sake of simplicity in this episode, since I'm doing a YouTube video, right, I'm going to be using a free tier depending on your personal usage or enterprise level. Obviously, you have different tier size that you can pay for, right? So that's a subscription plan. Uh, once you're in the account, it will track the API usage just like that. And this table shows you how many credits you have left, right, or have used. And with all that being said, now we can dive into the API documentation. In this episode, I'm interested in Form 13F filings. This is the API that give you or retrieve the latest and historical portfolio holdings based on a particular institution investment manager, right? So extremely powerful. If you want to check out the big guys, such as Warren Buffett, what kind of stocks he's buying, this is the page that you go, right? This is the page that you go. So uh, for example, let's go to the old school strategy. This is the list of link that I'm personally looking at. Uh, for example, if I want to look at Berkshire Hathaway, I will be clicking on this link. It will open uh, Agile search results based on the name Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, and then I have to physically and manually type in the filing type to be 13F, hit search, right? And then I have to pick one of these links, clicking that, and I have to click on this HTML, which is annoying, but I have to click on it. And then I get to see uh, the list of holdings that Warren Buffett is having, right? For example, Ali Financial, Amazon.com, uh, American Express, Apple, things like that. And then I have to export this into an Excel spreadsheet and take it from there. So as you can see, it's tedious, right? It's annoying, it's frustrating, right? I have to repeat this every quarter for every single fund out there, right? And if you're like me, you're tracking like 15, 20 different funds, then guess what? You have to repeat those steps 15, 20 times, right? So that's the ammo for today's episode. That's the motivation. We want to be able to minimize those steps and make it less tedious for us, right? So we can get to the sexy part much faster. So with all that being said, now let's go to our code. This is a VS code. Let's start from top. Uh, this script here, it's search SEC holdings.py. And the script essentially help us to uh, layer the fast MCP server on top of the API call, right? Which is coded uh, in a Pythonic function. So let's take a look. Uh, first of all, we have mapping, right? Mapping. Berkshire Hathaway has a CIK number. Let's write that down, right? BlackRock has a CIK number. Let's write that down, right? Here's a list of funds that I personally track. Now, of course, there's bias, right? There's bias. Not everyone track this list of funds, right? That's just my selection. Uh, in reality, you should probably track as much as you can. But if you track all of the funds out there, then guess what? You are just tracking probably the market average, right? You may as well just track S&P 500, right? So that's why I'm being a little bit selective here and hence the creation of this small database, right? Not a lot, right? Line 26 
all the way to line 47. Mm, not that much. So uh, that's the list of fun that I personally track. Uh, and then with all that being said, uh, here are a couple of functions, right? First function, get fun holdings data. This is the heavy lifting. Uh, this will fetch the 13F holdings data for us. Uh, the payload is in here. Uh, that becomes search params. Search params is entered in here as the input argument of form 13F holdings API. Uh, once we get the data, we have the response, and then we can just extract the data out of the response and display that to the user. It's as simple as that. And then, of course, we want to overlay the function with fast MCP. And then this will be able to make the function callable. And that is it, guys. That is it. Not very complicated of a function. There are a couple of other helper functions down here. There's get fun holdings uh, function, which is a helper function. Uh, it fetches the holdings data uh, so that uh, if user want to check the uh, name or whatever, uh, the function will get that holdings for you. Uh, and then there are a couple of other uh, fun helper functions, and this function will uh, fetch the name, right? It will return a, a native dictionary uh, so that you can then know what's going on uh, in the names of the holdings, things like that. Um, and then you want to have a couple of print statements stand up the uh, server uh, using standard I.O. Uh, this means standard input output. Uh, and then that is it, right? That is it. Last but not least, you want to go to your cloud desktop configuration file and then make sure that you have the schema here uh, registered and saved in the configuration file, right? So uh, this curly bracket that I'm highlighting tells the client side that this is the Python script that uh, supports this particular server. Here's the path, right? Here's the Python script. It's managed by UV command. And if you type this out, that's well-defined, the client will then be able to recognize, ah, this is a tool that I should be using if user is asking about it, right? And this makes the uh, Python script, uh, the server side, executable. So uh, with all that being said, we are ready, right? We are ready. Now let me show you the cool stuff. Let's go to our client. In this case, I'm using Cloud Desktop Client. So this button here uh, shows the tools. If you scroll down, there is the uh, search SEC holdings tool, and here's the functions, right? So uh, now, for example, you can type in something like this. In this case, it will recognize that I'm talking about a topic that's related to a particular tool. Uh, so here's a thinking process for the large language model. Uh, and then uh, it recognized a couple of potential functions that can be used here. In this case, you want to use get fun holdings function, and then the fun name is the arc invest. It will run the API query and get some table back. And as you can see here, it's a giant list table, right? I can literally scroll down to pretty much forever. <laughs> you get the idea. And that's because it's a long table uh, that lists out the holdings by arc invest. And then if you scroll down, uh, it will do a couple of thinking process, fetch more information, and then it will then display the table in front of us. Uh, it will also conduct the web search uh, if it uh, decided that the information is not enough. And then it will form a uh, holistic answer in front of us. Here it says, I retrieve ARC investment most recent 13F holdings data for the period ending March 31st, 2024. Uh, and then here's top holdings. For example, Tesla, Roku, Block or Square, Coinbase, UiPath, things like that. And then here are NVIDIA, Palantir, Meta, Microsoft, CRISPR Therapeutics, things like that. So uh, obviously you can check online and fact check that Kathy Wu has constantly been talking about these stocks, uh, which means that uh, this API call is a success. So uh, the answers displayed here are definitely uh, are comprehensive and it's supported by the SEC filing. Specifically here, we know for sure that it executed this function, right? It executed this function and we have the response here. We have the request here. And that's how we uh, know that there's a strong and robust reference 
for this large language model, right? It's not just LLM is making up thing information on the spot. It actually has seen what's inside of the SEC filings regarding ARC Invest. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.